What's going on guys, in this video, we're gonna be going over what an exponential moving average is and how to use it for your trading and investing strategy. This is a great technical analysis tool to use if you are a day trader or a swing trader. I am neither of those, but I still like to use the exponential moving average just to get a good feel on the market or an individual stock when I should be jumping in and out, even though I rarely jump out of my positions. But when I do, this is a great metric to use. Essentially, an exponential moving average is a type of moving average that places a greater weight and significance on the most recent data point. So the closer it is to the most recent candle, that number is going to be exponentially greater than when you're averaging in, say, in this 20 period, the 20th candlestick isn't going to be as significant as opposed to a simple moving average, which applies an equal weight to all of the candlesticks within that period. You guys can look more into that if my definition wasn't good enough, which I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't, but I'm trying to keep the video sweet and short. Uh, before we dive in, guys, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I got hundreds, I can't say hundreds, but I have over a hundred videos on my channel. 17,000 subscribers, really trying to hit 20,000 before December. So please smash that like button and subscribe. But guys, let's dive right in. So we're on trading view and here is, you can see these four lines. And right here it says EMA 20, 50, 100, and 200. So it has taken the past 20 days to produce the red line, the past 50 days to produce the orange line, 100 for the green and 200 for the blue, which is kind of dark, kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see it right there. And you could see, this is an NVIDIA, how the red one, because it's a shorter period, is staying close to uh, the true range or true value of the actual candlesticks. The orange is lagging a little bit, and then obviously the 100 and 200 are lagging a lot. They don't move as much. That's because there are so many uh, data points that it has to pull in. If we want to compare it to, say, a simple moving average, so you can see how the 200-day exponential moving average is a little bit more reactive than the 200-day simple moving average. We could also turn on the 50-day simple. So the orange line, that small orange line, is the exponential, and then this light blue line is the simple. So you can just see how it's more reactive, and that's pretty much what the exponential moving averages are doing. And it is a great way to tell, hey, how is this stock doing within its true range? Is it a good buying opportunity? Is it way too overextended? And you could just see, okay, here's a good buying point. Here's a good buying point. Very overextended up here. Very overextended up here. Another good buying point, another good buying point. General rule of thumb, a lot of people will tell you, hey, if you're going to buy into a stock and if you're going to use these exponential moving averages, what comes up must come down. When these stocks are very far away from their exponential moving averages, then you know it's way out of range. It needs to have some cool off. It needs to have some pullback. And you can see that's what happens. We have that nice pullback all the way down to the 100 day. I personally think stocks will always have to hit the 200 day uh, exponential moving average again. That's just the laws of physics, the way nature works. So you could see right here when it hit the 200 day exponential moving average, that would have been a great buy-in for an NVIDIA because after that, it ran all the way up to 250. So almost a 100% increase since what do we got less than a year we have maybe eight months so that's a great buying opportunity so maybe wondering okay well before you start explaining everything uh how do i even get this up on the screen how do i create the exponential moving averages so we're going to delete it it's really simple you go up here to the little fx thing and you type in exponential or not even just ema just type in ema and then you could see right here, we have EMA 250, 100, and 200. So this will give us all four. This is great. You can have a sing uh, single moving average if you just hit this. That'll give us a nine-day moving average. 
which is that little blue line. And we could change that. We could go into the settings and change that nine day if we want to whatever one. But we could only have a certain limit of these analysis on TradingView if you're on the free version, which I am. So instead of trying to add four of these little things, just add the one that already has four. It's almost like a little cheat code, I guess. But there it is, one, two, three, four. We add that and now there's all four of them. And if we click on it, look at that, we could change all four. We can make maybe the lines a little bit easier to see. About like a pink, keep that that color. Maybe that could be like a yellow, this could be a green. Just so it's easier to see on the uh, dark uh, backdrop. And we could change the weight. So we can make them a little bit thicker. Just so it's really easy for you guys to see in this video. Now the only thing is you can't change the actual numbers. You're getting the 20, 50, 100, and 200. If you want some weird number for some reason you heard, oh, the 24 exponential moving average is the best one. Honestly, I don't think it would be. I don't think it makes a difference. As long as you kind of have a general idea of the space, it doesn't matter if it's 20 or 21, there's no magic number here. Uh, but this gives you a great idea of if the stock is overextended or not. Because now we're looking at the pink line, which is the 200 day. You can see this pullback all the way down to the 200 day exponential moving average. Great buy in. Up here, not a good buy in because this is so overextended. It's so far away from all three of the moving averages. It needs to have some pullback. And then right now, you can see we had this nice gap up, and this is so far away from all of the exponential moving averages. So would I be buying into NVIDIA right now? Absolutely not. I would wait for some pullback. If we jump over to a different stock, just so you could see, I know Visa has been real beaten up. So Visa had an ugly day going down. Even though we beat earnings by, almost, by 4.5%, it was an ugly candlestick down. It is below its 200 day exponential moving average. This would be a good buy-in, short term. Long term, I think it's also a good buy-in because Visa is a nice value stock right now. But you could see each time it had these ugly drops, there was a nice bounce back. Every time it hit or went past the 200 day exponential moving average, it bounced back. So we could really get into more advanced analysis with it but the beauty of it is you don't need to make it complicated. Keep it stupid simple. This is just giving you a good idea. Hey, you're just getting into trading or maybe you want to start swing trading or maybe you're like me and you have a certain amount of stocks you always like to invest in, but you want to know this week, should I put my money into Visa or should I put it into NVIDIA? Well, if I'm basing it off of the exponential moving averages, I'm going to put my money into Visa this week because to me, this is at a nice little discount. It's below the 200 day moving average, the 200 day exponential moving average. It's still in an upward trend. I wouldn't be investing if it was a downward trend. It's still in an upward trend. So this should be a nice buying opportunity and it should go back up. Now it doesn't have to, right? Because the future isn't given. No one knows what's actually gonna happen in the market. But this is a great way to make some educated guesses. I'm not a financial advisor. Always got to throw that in there. Uh, but I love using the exponential moving average just for this reason. Just to know, hey, when should I buy in? When should I sell? Um, or should I hold off on buying in? So right before the coronavirus, another example, very overextended. And then it plummeted and it broke through the 200 day right here. You think, hey, maybe this is a good buy-in, but you could see it continued to go down. And it pulled all of these moving averages down. Obviously, it eventually bounced. So that's just kind of showing you how it may not always work. Just because it touches the 200-day doesn't mean that's the perfect buy-in. It's definitely at a discount, but it still had room to go. But it bounced back, and it snapped right back onto this nice upward trend. But I don't want to bore you guys or confuse you guys with more terminology with exponential moving averages. You know how to pull it up on TradingView now. You know how to use it in some simple analysis. You could definitely dive into this, find tons of great content on YouTube that will 
teach you more about exponential moving averages. But I just kind of want to put it out there because I think it's a great metric. I love using the 100 and 200 day simple moving averages, but the exponential moving averages are probably my next favorite. If you like this video, again, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, drop any comments. But that's all I got for you guys. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.